Hi Paul, here's your uh, first video. On the left is the one before, on the right is the after. Let's see, main, the first thing we focused on was alignment. You can see the sticks I've put on the right side there just to line your feet up. You can see on the right your shoulders are slightly open, I would say, slightly pointing left. So just be aware of that so the right shoulder can just relax in a tad, a fraction more. So the shoulders are more aligned, they're fractionally left. Um, now let's take a look at the one on the left. And our main focus I was talking to you about was balance. And at that point there, we can just see you falling towards your toes. And that had a direct effect on how the club came through the, through the shot. We can compare it to the one on the right. This is where we'd focused on doing some drills, which we'll go to in a second, but this, is, this was the result of a little bit of work. Striking into the ball, into the left, look where the club shaft is. This is released position, the left elbow is much more in. The club shaft angle through the ball is more on plane. So we're working, if you want to talk about plane, I'm going to stick that on these little lines on here. We swing that around the plane. Okay, so it's more parallel to the plane, much more on. As opposed to the one on the left, apart from the balance issues, let's just put a line on here. We can have a direct result of what you've done. And this is what's going to give you results at the end of the day. So this one will be steeper. Very evident, which has a massive effect on the club face position. There, all right, and there. Massive change in position. The one on the right is going to go much further uh, with a good strike and um, lower, I would say. All right, so at the end of the finish of the swing as well you can see on the left the hands get to there and just pull inwards this is just to help your balance this is stop you from falling over more than anything on the right as you swing through the hands now turning across your shoulder you see your arm is kind of dissecting your right your left shoulder more here and then looking to hold the finish We'll, we'll get it more than that. We'll get, you, we'll get this left arm more behind you in a couple of weeks' time. Let's take a quick look at the face on view. Just switch those over. So, again, the one on the left is before. Okay. You can see how the hands didn't really appear in your back swing there. On the right, legs driving, moving around to your left heel and the result of the hands being more behind you because the rotation is better. If you just focus on your right foot, you see how that's moved on to its toe better. The weight is on your left side better and gives an overall view of it a much smoother swing. And that's where you feel the sensation of being, being a bit quick. So on the left it probably felt a bit quick because the hands are almost jolting away from your body rotation. They're not in the same orbit. On the right I would say they're working around the orbit better. And the balance at the end is really good. I'm really chuffed with that. One of the drill, drills that we did, a very simple drill for you to work on on the course or on the range if you like and when you're at home is to try and stand still okay okay so focus on rotation get that left leg stronger and your and your core strength better and um oh yes this was the other part we're looking at so this was helping you to understand that maintaining the tilt of your spine through the shot so we can see the shoulder moving under. Let's go to your. See, that's much better. That was one we, after we'd worked on it. You see the shoulder is much lower. Let's just open up an older swing. Um, I'm sorry, wrong one. Um, so, so as you strike with that, it's going backwards. You 
it's not keep not set up. So the one on the left here, we want to see the shoulder more down and around. Should I put the weight into the heel better for me. So we want you know, a better swing after a little bit of work. Did that the more the right shoulder is more under, maintaining the spine tilt through impact, allowing you to rotate around your left side better. Good, that will do.